In a natural farming uh, environment, it's very important that you have a good supply actually of a uh, forest. Uh, why? Because eventually your uh, waste will not be enough to be able to create that soil production that you need. No, like for example, if you will have a uh, one hectare of land, you would need at least like elf trucks talaga of like waste just to be able to put back that fertilizer and the decomposing soil back to the to the soil no so but in a forest you can be able to abundantly harvest that by getting the natural materials the falling leaves falling fruits in your forest tapos it creates pa a natural parang uh, windbreaker at times of calamity no so napoprotect kumbaga yung sarili mong tanim no so so in a natural farming environment you have to have a multi integrated setup um, wherein you have a good variety of trees and uh, land where you can plant your vegetables and then but but it really it's really about what you you know look at what you eat and then from what you eat that's what you should be planting there The first thing you need to do is in my land, what do I have? No, so that's called topography. So you have to know how many trees. Uh, like for example, sa amin dito meron kami 100 coffee trees. 30 of them is a variety called Liberica, which only grows 1% globally, and the rest is robusta. So because of that, I will analyze kung saan ko dapat ilagay yung aking, for example, sa amin gusto talaga namin ng farm and restaurant. Tapos, dahil may pamalaki ang pamilya namin, gusto namin magkaroon ng uh, parang villas, no? Kung saan, when they visit, pwede kaming pumunta doon. So, the first thing I did is consult my family also. I said, ano ba yung gusto niyong makita dito sa lupa natin? Kasi, importante sa lupa, long-term plan, no? So, hindi lang siya pang 2 to 3 years, pero 10 to 20 years siya. Ibig sabihin, pwede niyong i-cut yung plano ninyo face by face. In fact, it's the best way to save, no? Because once you have a plan, okay, or once you know why you're making your plan, okay, for me, it's for my intergenerational wealth. Everything I build today, I will pass it on to my children. And then they will have food security, they will have the healthy environment where they can always come to, you know, and it's a land that we own, no, that we can pass on. So those are the whys that I have. And then now the what's and how is the next important thing. So you have to get some experts like an architect that you uh, have a contact with, that you like their kind of design. And then it's important you collaborate because each uh, farm has its own flavor. No? So para hindi yan one size shoe fits all, uh, each family has their own uh, idea. So it's important that you collaborate with your architect so that at the end of the day, you have a product that is yours. What I realized is that my goals are health is truly the greatest wealth. And once you do natural farming, it all just comes naturally for yourself and for your family. Um, when I became a mom, that was one of the things that really opened my eyes, that um, everything that we do is actually for the next generation. No? So I believe in sustainable, uh, profitable enterprises. Because uh, I know that I can earn anything naman when I do a business like, you know, if I if I put my mind into like a fishball business, I know I can be able to earn that money. No? Pero, and then what? No, I always ask myself, so what? So sa kakatanong ko ng so what, dumating ako sa natural farming at nutrition na ang aking uh, end all be all. I want us all to live long, happy, and healthy.